is part four of our conversation with John Lodge of the Moody Blues. We're honored to have our special guest on this new series. Remember, with John Lodge, if you want to see the entire video, the entire interview, check out Rock History Book, our sister station, or the podcast. Links in the description of this video. Also, keep in mind, we talked to John Lodge two days before we lost Graham Edge. So if he talks about Graham in the present tense, you'll understand why. Here's John Lodge of the Moody Blues. Ride my seesaw, to me, the phrase, I look at that and I'm going, I would have never, I used to write songs, I'm going, I would have never thought of that phrasing, right? My seesaw, you know, the way that I'm going, I love it when it's, it's like watching someone say, I can't do that, but I'm sure glad you can. Of uh, how, did, how did you come up with that? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wrote the song on a harmony sovereign six string guitar. Uh, and uh, it, 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 I don't know. I really don't know. It, it, these things just, you know, um, uh, what what's a word? If you uh, an enthusiastic amateur in anything, there's no boundaries. There really aren't. There's no constraints. And I think as a Moody Blues, that's what we did. There was no constraints. So I never realised the tempo of that is the only doing different to what anybody else would do. You know, it just was the natural one for me to put together. That and, sounds uh, like a fun song to play. That's just the exuberance it, of that. Great. It's great song to play because um, it sort of drives on its own and it's been the, uh, the encore song for the Moody's for like 40 years, I think. Uh, and it's my encore song now because it's, uh, it's, really sums up the evening, sums up the concert. Um, and, you know, it's almost a free-for-all. It is, isn't because it's constrained in the harmonies, everything else. But it's as much as much as free-form, I think, as I could do. <laughs> the Royal Affair and after, I'm looking at this list of this list of songs, this body of work, which encompasses a lot of years. And and I thought to myself, I, he must look at the back of this and 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 be proud. It, it encompasses so much life, so much you know, blood, sweat, and tears. Everything that that you put. What's your feeling with 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 this project? It must have felt gratifying. It really did. I'm I'm, I'm really proud of it because. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I've, I don't mean this in the real sense of that. I've honoured the other guys in the band with doing their songs. And I was with Graham Edge last week. And I said to Graham, I took him a copy of the uh, album because his poem is on there. And I said to him, I hope you like what I've done, you know, musically for this album. And I, I hope all the guys in, in the band really recognise what I, the integrity I've tried to give all the songs that they have written, you know, um, because uh, I'm proud of everything we've done as a Moody Blues and not just my own songs. I'm talking about songs of Justin, Ray's, Graham's and Mike's. Uh, it's been the... Uh, soundtrack of my life you know you know the world is filled with disgruntled employees who say i mean in radio we used to have the same people would go john bowden i've been listening to you for 38 years and i still hate you there's people in in and i'm going why are you listening but there's people who like my dad had a job and he didn't really particularly like his job but you're still doing it this this live project's out i saw your video promoting it and i'm going still got fervor in his voice he's still He's still got meaning, which is something that a lot of people leave. Is that part of, did you learn that? Were you always kind of that type of person of going, if you're going to do something, do it right? Uh, I've always, yeah, because, you know, it, it, it goes back really to the birth of the Moody Blues. Um, I was younger than the other guy, except Justin, I must say. But um, when they were going to, become professional I was at college uh, and I was uh, reading um, mechanical engineering because as a young 
person I wanted to be a car designer. And uh, when Ray, Ray Thomas said to me, come on, John, uh, we're going down to London uh, as the Moody Blues. And I said, you know, I've still got two years to go at college and I'm going to finish that. And uh, Whatever happens, I'm going to finish it. And uh, I finished it. And uh, I'm really proud of that, to finish it and get the certificate, you know, a bit of like Wizard of Oz, really, I suppose. But get the certificate. And um, and then Ray rang me and I said, have you finished college yet? And I said, yeah. And he said, get down to London now uh, and come and join the Moody's. So I've always had that. I, I try to remain positive uh, all the while. It's not possible all the while, I have to tell you. I'm sure everyone knows that. But... If I always try and think about the glass being half full and not half empty, it's the same level in the glass, but it's a different attitude. Yeah. Different attitude. Era. One of my mentors used to say, you know, everyone looks at the center of the pie from a different angle, sometimes way over there, but it's important to know what how the other guy thinks and stuff. But you're good at finishing the file. That's how my wife puts it. She finishes, she closes the file. You went to school. You close that file that, you know. Yeah, absolutely. It's, for me, it's really important because, um, you know, it, it, it manifests itself in a lot of ways. You know, I wrote a song called House of All Doors, and that is like opening a door, going in, checking it all out, and say, okay, I've done that, come out, close the door, see another door. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you can widen your, your horizons, but you're still keeping focused uh, on who you are as a person. He has a brand new album. Links in the description of this video. John Lodge, just that is. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.